All right, so we have a bit of a treat today. Uh, today we are going to be practicing some SM Armory one pulls. So normally this is a little bit difficult for paladins to do because of the healers at the end, and it can be a little bit difficult to just finish everything off in one go. But with the help of crystal charges, which are pretty darn cheap, and the help of a couple consumes that really don't cost that much, I think we're going to be able to fly through this pretty easily. So I can already do SM Graveyard, as you've probably seen in a previous video, as well as doing the Outer Sanctum of SM Cathedral. Uh, that really is no problem. Uh, I can do the Inner and Outer Cathedral together, but the time that it takes to kill the mobs on the inside and the outside together is simply put not worth it it's better to just reset and do like another instance so i do not bother with the inside of cathedral because just doing the outside which is a good amount of mobs and then swapping over just is better so now we're going to try to rip through armory so library is a pointless endeavor because you literally cannot one pull it it is not possible uh, there are numerous reset spots, and you will pull maybe two uh, hallways worth of mobs before they decide to reset and run back to their original spots. Literally nothing you can do about it. I've tried over and over again. Uh, on top of that, there are just an insane amount of healers. On top of that, uh, they do put a stacking debuff on you for holy damage. Uh, and it can actually stack high enough uh, to where you are taking, like, legitimately significant damage if you do not resist them. So it's it's pretty much pointless. So we get to the end here. We bubble so to make sure all of the casters come to us. Once they are all in range, we'll go ahead and throw down a Consecrate. That is going to be our lovely ring procking. Uh, for 132 spell power, which is going to help keep us alive. If we feel like we need just a little bit of extra healing, we do have a Crystal Restore. But from previous testing, it hasn't really been a necessity. Uh, we can pop it. Why not? They're cheap. They're honestly, honestly, the, the price of Crystal Charges on my server right now are so inexpensive. Really, the only difficult part uh, about getting them is actually just going to Ungoro. So we want to use a crystal charge early so we get the cooldown going. As you can see, we already have most everything dead and we're only two and a half minutes in. So what's left is mostly just the healers at this point and the low health casters. Uh, the casters will run out of mana and run up to us. But we are just going to keep casting max rate consecrate and knocking them down. Heck, we weren't even attacking this whole time. We'll throw up our, uh, our Wisdom. And wouldn't you know it, everything's almost already dead. So they are going to keep healing a little bit. It's not the end of the world. If we want to, another Crystal Charge will be up soon. The time we're trying to beat is about five minutes. We can even drag them over here. Drop a Big Boy Consecrate and start going to town again. Pretty soon here, we will have another Crystal Charge ready. Just to end this a bit sooner. These Crystal Charges are going for... Eh, maybe 20 to 30 silver apiece. And that's it. We have... If we kill him, there we go. A sub 4 minute SM Armory. So what we're looking at here is... Yeah, almost 70 mobs in less than four minutes, uh, not counting the time it takes to run out of the instance. If you have people in your group who want you to, you can obviously open the gates and kill the boss uh, for his drops. If somebody wants a Ravager, or if you want a chance at the Scarlet Tabard, there's many different things that you can go in there and kill him for. Uh, so these mobs are going to be really good for getting some Twink items. On top of that, we have uh, TBC coming up soon, meaning that uh, mages are going to get nerfed into the ground when it comes to boosting. I don't really care about the silver, but I actually do want mage weave. 
So, in my opinion, what makes this really doable for Paladins is the Wrath of Cenarius. So, doing this dungeon without Wrath of Cenarius is way more difficult. Uh, as you're seeing, you are taking some pretty decent damage. Uh, normally a little over 20, but this isn't so bad. You, you might be able to do it with that Wrath of Cenarius, but that extra 132 spell power is absolutely ridiculous. So I think it is not unreasonable to ask for 10 gold per run, uh, combining SM Cathedral and SM Armory together. You're looking to spend probably 10 gold per hour on consumables, maybe less. But if you can do SM Armory and SM Cathedral in under 10 minutes, uh, let's say we're being generous in saying nine minutes per run, that's going to be 45 minutes per lockout. And you can make, what, 40 times five? Uh, you know, you're looking at 200 gold per hour on average from the people paying you. And if you have to pay a little bit for consumes or some uh, crystal charges, then frankly to me, that's not a big deal. Uh, we were talking and looting and whatever. Uh, so obviously the timer is a little bit longer than normal. Now SM Cathedral, I've shown in another video, I can do an SM Cathedral, especially with consumes in less than four minutes. And I think my fastest is three and a half minutes. So. Definitely a nine minute clear on both sides is doable. What's also nice about uh, SM Armory is that as long as you gather everything up and as you see, I'm tabbing, everything's clean. As long as I pick up every mob, the people you are boosting can follow you all the way to the end and loot the bodies for you. Uh, you can make it free for all loot. You can claim the blues if you want. It's completely up to you. So yeah, this is uh, this is Paladin finishing up SM Armory, and in my opinion, I think this is faster than any of the mages that I have seen. So if you have any questions about my build, my talents, my items, you can always catch me every single day, 9 p.m. PST. Uh, that is the California server time, and that is going to be midnight EST. Uh, at twitch.tv forward slash the Duke of TBC. I do free boosts every day. They're essentially ask me anything questions where people happen to get uh, free experience. Make sure to follow me at the socials, uh, Twitter down below, the Duke of TBC, as well as my Discord. Anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one poll, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Later, guys.